Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike with SmartOptionTrading.com. It is Friday, the 4th of September. This is our weekly recap. It goes out to all my members and people who've subscribed to my email list and on YouTube. If you're interested in learning more about me, you want to join in our live trading room, just come over, go to SmartOptionTrading.com and click on live trading alerts for more details. So let's talk about this week, guys, the week that was. And it was, uh, it was not an easy week. We went over this yesterday and went over this a lot. You know, the market was flashing warning signs all week. We've had this huge run up in the markets from the 218 lows to new all time highs here now at 358. And you know, everybody will say the fundamentals don't support this. No argument, but that doesn't matter. You play the action. That's what we do. We're traders, we play the action. So what's finally happened is, is on Wednesday night, you know, we've got extended for the first time. We got very extended and we were seeing just less and less names participate in the market up here. And the market was having a hard time sustaining the rally. And finally, you know, we came crashing in on um, yesterday and today. By the way, the queues started to come in on Wednesday. The queues flashed their warning side on Wednesday. So when the SPY made an all-time high, the queues were already coming in on Wednesday. Here's these numbers here that are important for you. First of all, the 3% pullback, 347.98 hit. The 5% pullback at 340.81 hit. We went below that and we reversed here on low volume this afternoon as we're pushing up. Stephen, have a great weekend. Catch you Monday, Tuesday. All right, remember Monday is a holiday. We're, we're off on Monday. Volume yesterday was heavy at 148 million shares. Today it was heavy this morning, but really backed off here. So what else is going on here in this market? The other thing that's been foretelling of a potential sell-off in this market or something wasn't right was the VIX. Uh, for what it's worth, been talking about the VIX here since the day it broke this downtrend all the way back here. And, you know, after it broke that downtrend, you got this move up. Oh, that's the VXX. That's why it doesn't look right. Here it is. There's the downtrend. Broke it here all the way back on the 20th and we've been made elevated. And then we created this tabletop. And yesterday we finally went. And today you got a cooling off candle. Now, is this over? Guys, the truth is nobody, nobody knows if this is over. Nobody knows if we're going to go higher or lower from here or where we go. Typically, markets don't bottom on a on a Friday. We'll see. We have a holiday weekend for cooler heads to prevail and see what they want to do here. So for me, uh, I'm going home flat this weekend. It's been a great week. This this week provided so many names to trade. Uh, you know, Monday. You know, and they were for me. It was almost all longs. Tesla on Monday gave multiple trades before it came apart. People shorted it. Square here. You know, new all time highs. Gave trade into this one as well. NVIDIA monster move gave trades this week. Now you're seeing these pullbacks, you know, and you know, this is a vicious three day pullback from 589 down to five, what's that 588 now, it was lower before. There's, you know, there's some serious selling going on in these names. Roku gave trades this week, again, all time highs to a pullback. Uh, CRM, also Walmart, I'm just cycling through some of the names I've traded this week. All of them showing the same thing. The names that have run the highest are the names that have gotten hit the hardest. Uh, DraftKings gave multiple trades on news this week, pre-market and such, pulling back to the 50 here. Key area for this to hold as the NFL season looks to start next week. Facebook made some money on, wasn't so easy this week at all there. Uh, even the banks woke up. Boeing had some trades on it this week. Still cannot hold a break above the 50 day. And you know, it is what it is. Names that have run like crowd, have come back to earth, right? This big move up to 153 off of Zoom gave that whole move and more back. Same thing with Zoom, gave most of that earnings move back. Doku also gave that move ramp up back. And the market is just saying it's taking profits here, but it's not sure what it wants to do. What was missing today, as we come up on the two o'clock hour, was the flow to say the bottom's over. They haven't come screaming in for the market. They haven't been buying things. They're not in a rush to buy things here yet. Now that could change very quickly in this market. So I'm gonna go home flat because I don't know what this market wants to do and then we can reevaluate it on Monday. Bottom line is when the market gets like this, you have to, you have to know enough to get out of the way. Lessen your risk, right? I was you know, flat coming into this. I was able to trade each of the last two days and make money and I traded almost exclusively to the long side. Uh, today I took a loss on SPXL uh, pre-market on the jobs number. And then I made some money back on TQQQ and I had three longs on Apple that all paid very nicely today. And, you know, it's just finding your spots and taking your shots and getting in and out in this market. 
yep, I didn't do shorting. I'm, I'm not the best short in the world and I played to my, to my strengths and that's all it is. And the important thing is to make money, put money in your pocket and keep yourself out of harm's way in this. The market will tell us when it's ready to go. It'll give a clear indication. You'll see the buying coming in. You'll see everything moving. What's important to note today that into this weakness is that Apple had one of the strongest bounces and on every bounce, on if you look at a five minute chart, what's made Apple so special today is why I've traded so many times today because it was strong out of the gate, gave bounce here. It's one of the first names to bounce. The other one that's been very strong is Tesla, right? The reason for these are these are the names that everybody in retail's in, right? Look at this pushing up. Everybody's piling into these names. They wanna be long these names. If you're looking for flow today, the only thing that stood out to me other than puts here was Uber. They've been buying next week's 35 calls here all the way up. Can't say I love this name, but they stand out because they're opening volume and there's over 6,000 plus of them now traded. But Uber to me is just not a chart that just screams to me buy it. So with that said, I hope everybody is safe this week. I hope you got out of the way. You should be making shopping lists this week. What do I wanna buy when I get the signal to buy? Because to me, you know, I gotta think that the president is gonna pump this market. And we're just, you know, we were overdue for this kind of action. So we'll see what happens next week. Three day weekend, four day week next week. Everybody have yourselves a fabulous weekend. Clear your heads and I'll catch you guys on Monday, mo Tuesday morning. Charts on, Tuesday, on, charts on Monday.